All right, we're going to go right into our next section, 2.5. This one's going to be less mathematical and more uh, English, actually. We're going to be translating the verbal expressions into an algebraic expression, largely taken from section 2.5. What we're going to do is be given a sentence or a phrase, and the goal is to translate that into an equation or an expression. So the first example, we have 60% of a number. Well, we usually let a number is going to be my variable. So I usually use x for my variable just because it's the most common. But if you want to use q or t, that's fine with me. I'm going to just always use x for our discussions. 60%. Now, 60% is normally written as 6, 0. But that's as a percentage. I have to write that as a decimal if I'm going to write an expression. So we change the percent to a decimal by moving that decimal point two places and I end up with 0 0.70 or just 0.7 being my 70 percent x so that gives me 70 percent of a number or of x of generally will represent multiplication usually problems like this are going to be a little more involved you're going to have to come up with two numbers for instance that differ by 8 now, the first number is always the easiest to come up with. That's your x. The second number, you want to be different than that by 8. Well, how do I change by 8? I can either add 8 or subtract 8. So my second number could be x plus 8, or it could be x minus 8. I have to decide, do I want this first number to be the big number or the small number? Let's say I want x to be the big number. So to get a smaller number, I have to subtract 8. This one's a little tricky. Two numbers with a sum of 4. Well, the first number is x. Now, the next number is going to obviously involve a 4 and the x, but how do I arrange it so that when I add it together, the sum is 4? Well, I want to keep the 4 and I want to get rid of the x, so all I'm left with when I add them together is, is 4. So we're going to do a 4 minus x. And now they differ by 4, because if I add these together, the x and the minus x are going to cancel, and I'm just left with the number 4. So these are two numbers with the sum of 4. How about this one? Three consecutive odd integers. Consecutive means one right after the other. The first one's always the easiest. That's my x. Now, how do I go from one odd to the next? I think for a little bit. If I went from three to five, one odd to the next, it would be three plus two. And you'll notice to get to the next odd numbers, all you have to do is add two. So if we add two to x, we get the next odd integer. To get the next odd integer, we get to add 2 again, or a total of 4. So there are three consecutive odd integers, x, x plus 2, and x plus 4. How about this one? The distance, if the rate is 15 miles per hour, and the time is t hours. Now this one, we might have to remember the formula for distance and time. There's lots of helpful formulas for you on page 124. And on page 124, you'll find D equals RT. Distance equals rate times time. Well, they told me the rate was 15, so I'm going to plug 15 in for the rate, and I have D equals 15T. Last thing we're going to look at at this short lesson is we're going to write an equation for this situation. Two numbers with a sum of 16 and a product of 12. So there's two things we have to satisfy at the same time. The sum is 16 and the product is 12. Well, let's start with the first part. Two numbers with a sum of 16. We know the first number is always x. And to get another number which added to this is 16, we learned a couple examples ago, we can just take 16 minus x. Well, there are our two numbers. 
If I want their product to be 12, it means I'm going to multiply these two numbers to get a product. So we have x times 16 minus x, and I want that to be equal to 12. So there is my equation for two numbers with the sum of 16 and a product of 12. This was a shorter lesson, just converting sentences into equations. More examples, a lot more examples are found in the book. Please take the time to read that to get a full view of what this section's about. And the homework assignment today is on page 122. We're going to do numbers 7 through 123, every other odd. All this week's homework, as always, is due next Tuesday by 3 p.m. Thank you.